it really possible to play a childhood classic from 2009 in virtual reality? Earlier today, I was scouring the deep pits of YouTube until I saw a game from all of our childhoods, Left 4 Dead 2. And believe it or not, something just hit me from the back at terminal velocity, something I had not realized. If I could play Gmod in virtual reality, it has to be possible to play Left 4 Dead 2 in virtual reality. And I looked at my question on the most powerful search engine in the world. Bing. And to keep it short, yes, you can play Left 4 Dead 2 in virtual reality. Why? But how was I able to play Left 4 Dead 2 in virtual reality? Before I answer that question, make sure you stick around because we're also answering is it possible to play with others in virtual reality and will mods work as well? Left 4 Dead 2 in virtual reality is pretty easy to set up. All you have to do is download this from GitHub. I'll probably leave it down in the description down below. Move it to your Left 4 Dead 2 directory, add some launch prompts and bada bing bada boom, you can slap the game in the tushy, start it up and play with your favorite characters. Oh. Hang on, baby. Oh, you oh. babies. You <laughs> babies. <laughs> the controls don't follow standard VR controls. For one, your right hand controls both arms. And with the left control, you can reload, crouch, and move around. It takes some time adjusting, but once you do, it's not too bad. The fact that you're able to transport yourself in Left 4 Dead is cool in of itself. So I'm definitely not complaining. It just makes me wish Valve could make a VR game for Left 4 Dead like they did for Half Life. Anyways, I started off with my two favorite maps Dead Center and Dark Carnival. It was kind of crazy the way you put on a headset and you immediately feel like you're in the middle of a zombie apocalypse i've never seen the other characters faces so close to me i was feeling like they were actually sentient or something y'all ready <laughs> don't look at me like that bro oh my gosh why are you just looking at me <laughs> i'm not gonna lie to you i was really terrified my first few runs but i got through it because i was having way too much fun with the hand motion tracking on the melee weapons it made me more happy than my boy adam, adam being freed into the wild adam. adam yo can i break this door like this Oh, I can't! Zombie. Save me, guys! Save me! Oh, they're beating each other! What, what the, what the fuck? Oh! <laughs> oh! I hear a jockey! I hear a jockey! Where is he? Where is he? Back up! He's smacking the wall! Oh! Back up! Back up! Oh, he's on me! Get on me, bro! Yo! Yo, he bugging! How much health he took away from me? Oh my gosh! Is this like unlimited hit? <laughs> that sounds ridiculous. After Dead Center, I tried my all-time favorite Left 4 Dead 2 map, Dark Carnival. The most satisfying thing to use in the game was the shotguns. I don't know why, they just hit different in virtual reality. Oh, hell nah. Oh, hell nah, but I'm not the to do to her. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yo, stay the fuck back to lie to you. Did it. Oh shit! <laughs> you charging? <laughs> you charging at air particles or something, bro? Oh my god! Where the fuck you come from, bro? Goddamn gorilla behind me, bro! Oh, uh, uh. y'all intruding in my space! <laughs> oh, I'm in the baby for real. I realized right then and there there was an actual witch in front of my eyeballs. So I decided the best course of action was a literal frontal assault, or I was 100% sure gonna get my cheeks clapped. Oh! Oh, big up! After Dark Carnival, I began to ponder my next question. Can you play with other people using the Left 4 Dead 2 virtual reality mod? And the answer is a resounding yes. I found out by inviting the most intense individual, the towering behemoth of gaming with a jawline so sharp it could cut diamond in half. And that person is my brother. Damn, bro, you, you don't even want a crash course? Nah, I'm in this. What the fuck? Wait, how do you crash course? Okay, I might need a crash course. <laughs> After giving him a crash course, we stayed playing two campaigns to see if there was some jankiness to playing with somebody else. But the only thing we found out was that if we were put in the zombie apocalypse, the zombies would probably have their way with us. Cover me! Ow. Ow. Look at this. I got him in that split. You better catch. Oh, <laughs> shit! That shit type wavy, bro. Never in your life have you ever expected to go into Left 4 Dead? I don't know. Never. Never in my life. Still fighting? Oh, oh, What's going on? What happened? Oh, oh, oh. oh my god! Yo, Rochelle, my bad. Oh, fuck! I'm about to do a meta play. Watch this, watch this. 
Oh fuck. <laughs> Come on! Come on, dude, I can't hold him up! We are, we are, f them. them, f them, they can go die. <laughs> Yo, what the Playing with somebody makes the game funner in my opinion. My brother did not know you could crown witches, so I had to teach him the way. Witch. Yo, easy clap, watch this. Reloading. <laughs> Yo! I'm a reload. Yo! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen that. I was standing here behind you guys like, I'm gonna pick up this dumbass, right? <laughs> yeah, that witch, bro? You know, like, this, right? Do it, sir. Do it, Do it! <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work! You have to get so close, close, bro! I put my barrel in her bag. I blew her bag out. Do it, him, do it, him. you gotta get close. You gotta get close. No, I just, I just, I just rushing. After the parish, we played No Mercy, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I was lost. I had not realized that I actually never played the Left 4 Dead 1 maps all those years ago, mainly because I was on Xbox and the maps were paid DLC, and your boy was like 9 and definitely had no motion for $6.99. These zombies had to be line chubs the way they were cooking us. We about to play that Left 4 Dead 1 campaign we never played, bro. Ah, uh, hell no. Oh, he got me! Somebody help me, bro. Huh? Alright bro, come okay. on, let's go for, before we leave you, bro. <laughs> we we left we left Lewis down there. Whoa! Yo! It's the FM machine gun! Oh fuck yeah! Oh! oh! <laughs> what you looking at, Lewis, bro? Stop looking at me like that, bro. Oh, oh what a goofy, bro. Oh, nigga. oh, dumbass! Go, go, run! Hold on! Oh, 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 wait! Oh, wait! Tell that about Lewis to come, bro. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> we just lost them! <laughs> I think we're shit teammates, bro. After getting our cheeks absolutely manhandled in no mercy, we asked our next and most important question. Is it actually possible to play Left 4 Dead 2 in virtual reality with mods? The answer is yes. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but throughout the video, there were some mods already installed in plain sight. I added mods that reskin some of the campaigns, making the campaign feeling more refreshing. Anyways, if you want to reskin the campaign, I'll drop the collection in the description. But now we want to know if mods that actually change the game work and again, yes. I looked far and wide in the Steam Workshop looking for some of the greatest mods I could find. The first thing I changed were the characters. These are the new and improved Left 4 Dead characters. The first one up, Bill, as the meme I should've loved back in 2020. Next one up, Francis, as Heisenberg. You know, the guy who made the light blue pop rocks. Lewis, as Lego Lewis, from Lego Fortnite. I'm sorry. And Zoe, with just a Christmas hat because that's the only thing I could find for her since the Steam Workshop is actual degeneracy when it comes to her. Next up is Coach, the guy who likes cats. Nick as a ball of protein. Rochelle as the super soldier and Ellis as El Gato. All these characters went through training arcs to level up their drip and as they should because I installed some mods that were definitely clapping them. We went tip first into the Vaporwave campaign. A uh, new campaign. You excited? No. What is this? Oh my god. The Elgato? Oh, there's camels on the guns? Yeah, bro. This is a whole new game, bro. Huh? It's a hot glizzy? Oh yeah, I never really mentioned this, but I literally made the special infected more special. I made the boomer into a creeper, the charger into a noob from that one game that no one's ever heard of, the tank into a roided out Steve, the smoker into Ronald McDonald that for some reason spoke Japanese, the hunter into a two-piece chicken nugget, the jockey into a shaboing boing, the spitter into a McDonald's Sprite, the common infected into cheeseburgers, and the wit into a sand wit. Get it? Eh? Eh? Alright, fuck you guys. Anyways, if you hadn't noticed, most of the infected are foods because I was pretty hungry while I was looking for the mods. Oh! It's coming for me! Damn! No! No! <laughs> it hurts. In case anyone is wondering, I'm about to die. Oh. 
<laughs> you were asking, Mike? After the Vaporwave campaign, we went on to one of the hardest challenges Left 4 Dead had to offer. But before that, my brother chose his all-time favorite character. Among us. The challenge was surviving rounds with tanks. First round will be one tank, second round will be two tanks, third round will be three tanks, etc. All the way up to 10 rounds. Me and my brother were confident in our abilities to take on big, thick, fat, and meaty tanks. Oh, oh my god, they go out of place catching you, bro. Oh, you didn't know my move. Bro, you didn't know my move. Bro, moonwalking, look at him. Oh! Ah! Damn, bro. Can I, can I hop in the ocean? <laughs> it's okay, though. Even if we didn't win the first one, we definitely had the second game. <laughs> oh, Drew, you're gonna get the <laughs> never made it past round five anyways the mod was pretty awesome and i recommend it to anybody who's able to play vr i give it a 10 out of 10 and i hope you guys enjoyed see ya